Hey guys, so you saw a little bit of my training in my last videos, uh, some of my boxing, my strength and conditioning, some of my sparring. Well, the fight didn't happen. Unfortunately, um, I had two opponents fall through and it's really frustrating. Um, you know, this has happened a bit in my career, but I try to stay focused. I try, I try to stay, you know, in the moment and just live for the day. Although, you know, knowing that I have that goal and reaching towards that goal, I do have to peak for my fights. So, you know, I'm not a young fighter anymore that can say, okay, this fight fell through. I'm going to fight two weeks later or I'll fight a month later. I need to kind of decompress and let my body kind of come down. Otherwise, if I'm constantly run, running on, on high all the time, I'm absolutely going to burn out. Some of you totally understand what I'm talking about. Some of you may not feel that yet because you're young enough to not have to experience that. But it's different now. I'm a different fighter now. And like I've said in other videos of mine, you know, every time I train, every time I'm going through my strength and conditioning or I'm going through a fighter, I'm always coming back a little bit different. And I'm learning a lot. So the things that I've learned throughout my career is how to really balance this time in my life where fights fall through, you know, what's next, keeping a positive attitude. Not everything in my life is perfect. I literally came here to film today and my car just died. I don't know if it's the alternator, I don't know if it's the the, tr the starter or the, or the battery. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, great, another stress. I deal with family stuff. I'm the caretaker for my aunt, so I'm dealing a lot with her, with her financial stuff and all her stuff. You know, there's things that we all have, um, you know, going on and some of you guys don't really see it through Instagram or Facebook or, or social media in general. And that's why, you know, you never judge a book by its cover. You really don't know what's going on in somebody's life. But the one thing that I really focus on is balance and also prayer. Um, my faith is huge. A lot of you know, a lot of you have followed me for a long time and know that my faith in the Lord is so strong. And I really would not be here today if it wasn't for him. I wouldn't be boxing if it wasn't for him. He brought me to boxing and has it has changed my life. So I still believe that there's um, there's time meant for me in this. And that's why I'm still here. I'm still at it. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, uh, a very small break, but it's my lifestyle. I'm always training. I'm always, you know, um, ready for the next time, the next fight. I'm always looking for it, but I also know how to balance that out. I just came back from a trip to Arizona. I got to visit my best friend who I haven't seen in five years. But while I was out there, some of you have followed me. I got to meet up with a strength and conditioning coach out there that has worked under Phil Daru. So I got to go out there and work a little bit with him. I got my runs in, um, took a break from boxing, but uh, you know, I, 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 stay, I stay healthy. My weight is still the same. I didn't go up, I enjoyed myself. I really don't drink, so that's not really a big part of it. But um, you know, just maintaining the balance. It's really about balance. Every day, what you do when you wake up, what you do with your mind, with your body, with your soul, every day, checking in with yourself. And so, you know, that's the reason why I can stay positive through all this. And, you know, I feel like there's, you know, other powers that be that may be standing in the way, but I'm here and I'm here for the long run. You know, I have a goal, me and my team, and we're setting out and we're going to achieve that goal. So I'm going to keep working and keep plugging away. And uh, hopefully you guys like these videos and uh, you stay you stay on board and uh, follow for the next one. So we have something coming up in June. I'm really excited about that, which we, I should be announcing in the next week or two. But it's already something else. So, you know, God always provides. So there's always going to be something as long as I just got to keep myself calm and just walking the path.